Support, support Wrestle, Wrestle Luke. Luke. Give me a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Luke News featuring Ollie Davis in a very minor role. I am Luke Owen and my head's it's quite chilly. It's um slave. Thank you, Oliver. You can go now. So the sexual assault investigation into Enzo Amore was dropped two weeks ago due to insufficient evidence. However, he's continuing to speak out about it on Twitter because that entire rap song wasn't enough getting it off his chest. To quickly recap the story, Zoe was under investigation by the Phoenix Police Department for an alleged sexual assault incident back in 2017. The charges were brought to public attention in January and Zoe was suspended from WWE. But now it seems that Zoe and his penis have been certified as indeed consensual by the investigation. He's now returned to the spotlight, but this time as a rapper going by the name Real One. And he's also been denying that he even knew that the investigation was happening before it was made public on Twitter, saying, The police never called me ever. My lawyers emailed them January 22nd, 2018. Hashtag armchair detective. I hate to be the one to pull the nipple out of the baby's mouth, but no, I was not contacted once by the police before January 22nd. Hashtag big facts. And we're not done with Enzo. We got the murder, murder. Former Ford villain Simon Gotch, now going by the name Simon Grimm, has revealed how Enzo got along with everyone backstage. About as well as you'd imagine. On Robbie E's Why It Ended podcast, Grimm revealed that Enzo got along just fine with WWE management, and that's mostly due to his mad promo skills. But the wrestlers found him too real for the room. Grimm said, I noticed he would try to buddy up with people when he thought he could get something from them, and that didn't sit well with people. When Finn Balor got there, Enzo immediately was just riding him to high heaven, which would be a great new finisher for Enzo if he ever returned to wrestling. So apparently Enzo was telling Finn how to get chicks, and Balor eventually lost his patience with him. As Grimm quite rightly pointed out, it's not exactly like Balor needed Enzo's help. He was an Armani model in Japan, and to use Grimm's own term, he has like nine million abs. Sounds a bit gross to me, but uh, Apparently it's really attractive in Japan, they've got quite a tentacular tastes. Someone who's also been talking about the backstage vibes at WWE is John Cena. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, Cena revealed that his time in the crowd at WrestleMania 34 was supposed to be quite short-lived before he lost his match to The Undertaker. He said that he felt his WrestleMania moment was helping to reintroduce a WWE icon, and he says it's something he thinks that a lot of guys in the locker room could learn from. That is my message to any performer who's complaining about their spot or that creatively they have nothing going for them. I've been first, I've been in the middle, I've been last. I just want to go out there and do something. There are a few performers who share my ideology, with The Miz being one of them. But there is also a lot of disdain and complacency. You should be happy with any sort of role, even if it's getting your tail kicked in. I feel like Cena's conveniently forgotten what he did to the likes of Zack Ryder, Bray Wyatt, Alex Riley the entirety of the Nexus, but he did put over The Undertaker, a real young up-and-comer. So good on your job. Have the money in the bank winners been leaked? Click the video on screen to find out. And while you're clicking, give us a subscribe to stay up to date with the latest wrestling news. I am Luke Owen's wife's new husband, and that was wrestling.